I take refuge in Buddha. May all beings may embody the great way, resolve into awaken. I take refuge in Dharma. May all living beings deeply enter the sutras, wisdom like an ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May all beings support harmony in the community, free from hindrance. Aloha. I hope you and your family are doing well in this difficult time of self-imposed isolation. People around the world, confined and trapped in our own homes, are filled with uncertainty and fear that the novel coronavirus is near. Everywhere they go, day or night. Daily life is no longer what it was just a few months ago. But here in Hawaii, it appears that we have been lucky. Governments stay at home, work at home, mandate mandatory 14-day quarantine for passengers arriving in the islands. And rules on social distance seems to be working or paying off. Every day, the number of few infections is getting lower. That the government, the, that the governor extended the restriction through May 31st. Businesses need to be reopened and people want to go return to their normal life activities. But we cannot take lightly how devastating COVID-19 can be, especially in older adults and those who have pre-existing conditions. This pandemic has caused a great deal of frustration, fear, hopelessness, and anger, to name a few. At the very least, this pandemic has greatly affected all of us, all of our lives. During these difficult times, many people find themselves with more time in their own hand, in their hands. This can be an excellent opportunity to sit quietly, settle down, and introspectively reflect upon the meaning and teaching of Shisho Po, which is four kinds of wisdom that benefit all living beings. Let us, in the light of wisdom of its teaching, wholeheartedly try to be aware of that we are living in our life at this very moment because of our connectedness and interrelatedness with all beings. That means we are living every moment simply because we are dependent not only to people around us but all beings, including plants and vegetables, without which we cannot live. In this world of interdependence, we must coexist with what we need to sustain our life. We are always together with all beings. We are not alone and we are not isolated from all things of our life, from all things of life source. Spiritually, we are constantly receiving the blessings of the Buddha Dharma, from which we acquire spiritual life energy and inspiration that, can, that could be applied toward enriching our lives 
as well as the lives of others. In the spirit of togetherness, meaning we are not alone, let us make effort to brighten our inner world by practicing the teaching of Shishobo, four kinds of wisdom that bring, that benefit all living beings. Our connectedness to all sorts of life in this universe, visible or invisible connections to all people and all sentient beings is what we ordinarily take for granted. Let us review the teaching of Shishobo, which is Dogen Zenji's writing of Shobo Genzo. First, Fuse, or offering, given, or sharing. Two, Aibo, kind of speech, loving kind words. Three, Digyo, beneficial actions. Doji, identity actions, or cooperation. According to Dogen's According to Dogen, what's being emphasized in Shishobo is the vows, vow of the Bodhisattva, not just for contemplating on the meaning of itself, but practicing these vows in our daily lives. In reference to the teaching of Shishobo, I would like to share with you a story of a woman named Akiko. Akiko was informed by her cousin in Japan that her mother, all of a sudden, had to go through a series of major surgeries. This was unexpected news, especially since Aiko's mother was always lively, active, healthy and strong, enjoying traveling all over Japan and visiting temples with Kannon Sama. The news came to Akiko, unfortunately, after the travel ban, uh, travel ban to Japan was imposed. She was devast devastated by her inability to fly back to Japan to see and take care of her mother. She asked herself, being only the child and away from Japan, away from home, what can I do for my mother? She cannot even talk over the phone. In this unprecedented time of social isolation and travel ban internationally, Akiko realized that she can only reach out to her, reach out to her mother through her prayer of love, compassion, and encouragement. Praying for her mother in front of the tiny Kannon statue she was given by her mother was the most positive action Akiko could think of for her mother. Akiko desperately wanted to be there in Japan to take care of her mother, but was unable, unable to because there were no flights available. She left, she felt hopeless as the only child not being able to see and help her mother. She prayed for mother day and night, offering her the gift of spiritual energy of Kannon Sama, believing her mother responds by receiving the warm energy of love and compassion of Kannon, 
Kanno Sama. Even though the mother and the daughter are thousands of miles apart, Akiko believed that they are always together. They are not far apart. Their connectedness was theirs sharing of prayers for each other. She firmly believed that the difficulty can be overcome by doing one's best to do one's part. Until all directives issued by federal, state, and the county governments is lifted. The story of a mother and a daughter is truly a reflection of practicing the teaching of Chisho, four kinds of wisdom, of giving and sharing one's concern and thoughtfulness for each other through loving and caring words of prayers. Akiko believed that even if they live in the world of hopelessness, they can share and offer prayer of encouragement with each other. By sharing the comfort and peace they experience, Akiko believed they are grateful for the blessing they received from Kanon Sama. This is unstable time for all of us, personally and physically, socially, educationally, and economically, young and old. For all high school seniors in Hawaii, like my granddaughter, Remy, a long-awaited and most exciting event of their uh, student career, graduation has been cancelled. It is really sad. We feel the same too. But we want to extend our heartfelt congratulations to all seniors and their parents and families for their accomplishments. And we pray that we pray we all graduates go forward and walk on the path, right path that leads to their lifetime goal. In this world of interdependence, there are many kinds of actions we can offer especially in time of difficulty. Helping others in a small way, at home or in the community. It may give a big impact on their lives of others. Please keep in mind to practice in the teaching of Shishobo. Everyone, please take care Take good care of yourselves. May you always be safe and be surrounded by Buddha's love and compassion. I look forward to seeing you again at the temple when the directive of social distance is lifted. この句読をもってあまねく一切に及ぼし、我らと主上と皆ともに仏道を上善ことを。